everybody welcome back to another video i am sapphire so today i am going to give you guys uh just a little upright update um on my hair um i think i'll be putting these in i think i'll be doing like little updates like maybe every three to four weeks i will be four weeks post relaxer um next friday um today is february the 26th and in my hair care today, the routine, I'm going to be doing a, a pre-point. So what I'm going to be doing is using this conditioner. This is the Garnier Fructis Grow Strong. You guys seen this in a previous video. I was telling you that I was getting rid of the length and strength and I was going back to using this. So sometime I did use this as a deep conditioner and I did use it as a pre-pull. So that's what's going to be doing. That's what I'm going to be doing today. And I'm going to be using my moisture I mean, my, I was going to say moisture mix, but my oil mix. Um, I'm going to be doing that today. I'm going to wash that out because this is the first pre-pool that I do do right after a, a, um, a protein treatment. So I will be using my shampoo. Um, every seven weeks when I feel that my hair has, needs to be cleansed, my scalp, then I would use the Jamaican Black, um, their um, shampoo. That's my clarifying shampoo from Shea Moisters. And this one is my moisturizing shampoo. So I only have two shampoos. That's it, just two shampoos. Um, I will be letting this mixture stay in my hair for about a good 30 minutes. It will not be heat. I never do anything like if I do like pre pulls um, cold washes, things of that sort, I don't get in my hooded dryer. The only time I get into my hooded dryer is when I'm doing an oil treatment or a deep, um, deep treatment, you know, when I go under to do a, my deep treatment. My ends look pretty good. I am so proud of myself. I have came a very long way. Um, if you guys have been with me for the past few years, then you already know I have came a very long way and I'm still learning. I'm still learning things about my hair, um, my skin, especially because I'm, I'm getting older. I noticed that I have to get um, <laughs> more products that really keep my skin supple and moisturized and soft. I will be 60 in September. So, and my hair is also changing. The strands of my hair, they're also changing as well. Okay. So if you're thinking like, this is not working. It just could be age because as we get older, everything changes from the inside out. Everything changes, okay? So, yeah. yeah so, your girl is going through that. But anyway, um, I think I, like I said, I'm very proud of myself from uh, keep for keeping up with my ends. I did do a dusting just a tad a little bit. Some few, few of you guys were asking me, what is dusting? What is that? Well, it's not a trim. It's just, you know how you, um, you have hedges because we have hedges in the front of our house. Um, my husband, he would go out there and just take a little bit off the top so they won't look all scraggly. That's what I'm doing because my hair grows unevenly. And no, my hair is not um, unhealthy. A lot of people hair grow unevenly. So I just want it to look uniform. So that's why I just give it just a, a slight dusting. I will be expected to um, trim my ends in June because that would be my next relaxer. My next protein treatment will be in April. So in June, I probably take another inch, inch and a half off, depending on what's needed. But like I said, I have been keeping up with my ends, keeping them moisturized keeping them tucked under and everything is, is really good. So I really, you know, just keeping my hair, just keeping up with my hair so I can just keep the length retention going, you know, so my hair can get as long as it will get. I'm just waiting on the gray to come. I have it here. You see that? I'm, I want it all here. I just, and I see beautiful women on, on YouTube with thick, long, um, Silver hair, that's what I want. My sisters, all of them, they just silver gray. My mom, I'm the last, and it's just around my edges. You see, all around. It's just all around my edges, and I'm just waiting for that. So I don't cover my hair. I haven't colored my hair because I used to get rinses. I, I haven't got a rinse maybe 2007, 2008. 
after that, that was it. I, I just I just stopped doing them. So I never really dyed my hair. They were just rinses. But yeah, so that's what's going on. I kept up with the um I kept up with my um my scalp massages. I was doing that every single night when my hair was down. Even when I check on my hair, when I wore it in a bun, when I check on my hair, I would still do a scalp massage for about a good four or five minutes. That that was basically it. That was basically it. So, but yeah, I did do an oil treatment on last night. So what I have been doing differently before this year started, I just use a little moisturizer and that helped keep my roots and my hair um, very soft. And then I would go behind and add the oil, which was this one, from my scalp, my hair, all the way down to the ends of my strands, twist it up. I got under my hooded dryer for about a good 25 minutes, kept it on, wrapped my hair, and then I went to bed. This morning, I just wore a messy bun. I just, I finger combed my hair because it was really, really soft, and I just wore a messy bun today. So, yeah. So that's basically what I'm going to be doing and what I have been doing in my hair care um, the few weeks before this date, I have just been maintaining um, my scalp and my hair, keeping my ends um, moisturized and tucked under. I don't really wear my hair out much unless I just get a fresh relaxer and I could just wear that out for a few weeks and then it go right back up. So yeah, so this would be my first pre-pull and I think I may do another pre-pull without washing it out with soap, maybe the next three weeks because my hair tends to get a little dry and I like to add pre pooing to it because it really allows my roots and my hair to just get that extra moisture, okay, that's needed for this inclement weather because once again, my hair tends to get dry around this time. In the summer, I am good to go. I don't even, I don't think I do a moisturizing and sealing as much, you know, because my hair my hair loves, you know, the 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 that that inclement weather. It really does. So maybe when we retire, maybe we'll move into a warmer climate. Who knows? Okay. So let me know in the comments down below. What are your routines? What are you doing in your hair care? Have you been keeping up with um, everything? Your scalp, maintaining your scalp, maintaining your hair, your those ends. You know, let me know in the comments down below because I love to see that. I really do love to see that. And some of you guys have been flourishing with your hair. Once again, thank you so much for the pictures. It really does make my heart happy to see you guys doing the things that you're supposed to be doing and you're staying consistent with those products and your hair care. I love it. Thank you guys so much and God bless you. God bless you. So, this is the end of the video. I got some things to do. I got to vacuum this hallway and then the stairwell. And then I got to change the linen on the bed. I didn't have time to do it this morning because normally I do it before I go to work, but I didn't have time to do that. So I'm going to start doing that now and then I'm going to start on my hair. Okay. So if it's the Lord's will, you guys will see me in the next video. Thank you ever so kindly for watching and enjoy your weekend. God bless you. Mwah. Bye.